What's up everyone? My name is Leah Yu. I'm back with another favorites video and yes, we are already in our second half of the year. I have so many products out here to share with you guys. I've been showing a lot of love to these items so let's begin our June favorites. I know I haven't been really featuring a lot of skincare items in my past favorites video. Now finally we have a skincare item which is the Primera Organians water and you guys all know how much I love and adore Primera brand itself. I've been using Primera for a couple of years now and it really changed my skin. I just cannot stop using Primera but as you guys have noticed in my best um, Korean cushions for summer video, I have been breaking out like majorly entirely like on my left side of the cheek for some reason and it was like really really strange. I didn't really know what to do but then I came across this guy which is a toner basically. It's like full of antioxidant like properties in it and it's very very soothing and very very calming on my skin. It didn't necessarily clear up my acne like miraculously like overnight but as more as I use it my skin was was kind of loving it and enjoying extra moisturizing properties so after using this for a couple of weeks now my skin has been a little bit cleared up and a little bit more clearer so i really recommend this next up we have this cup of coffee from Lush and I feel like whenever I see this I need to pronounce it as like a traditional New Yorker or something. Um, cup of coffee is a exfoliating mask so basically it has coffee grinds inside mixed with agave syrup and it has only like up to probably 10 ingredients so it's like natural I guess compared to other exfoliators out there and it can be a little bit abrasive because the coffee grind is like very vis visible but I feel like this is much much more milder and much more skin friendly because it has like a agave syrup and other plant oils that can actually replenish and soothe down your skin and moisturize your skin at the same time so it doesn't really feel like as abrasive as any other exfoliators out there so I've been really enjoying this. I generally love all of the Lush products and I love their shower products, bath products, everything and the facial mask range from Lush is kind of underrated I feel like so definitely give it a try you will fall in love with it. June was a month where I got to try out so many different cushion products. I spent so much money on cushion products as well there were so many new cushion products in the market as well. I was like really happy to um, review it for you guys but at the same time my saving accounts were like very very not happy about it. These two definitely stood out um, to my attention. These two are great for wearing in summertime and it is the Moonshot Microfit Cushion which is also known as the Dragon Cushion and this is the Lyricus Marine Collagen Cushion in Moisture. I feel like Lyricus Cushion has a little bit more coverage as well as more matte finish compared to the Moonshot one. So Moonshot one still has that kind of semi matte finish. It just leaves you a very soft sheen like subtle glow on top of your skin. Both look really 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 natural on your skin. It doesn't make you look like you have tons of makeup on on your face. It just feels super comfortable. Really depends on what you really look for because Lyricos is definitely more higher end than the Moonshot one. It has like more skincare property in it, collagen and higher in the acid and other ingredients that can also help boost your elasticity and the firmness of your skin. In terms of smoothing out the pores and everything, Lyricos still does it better than the Moonshot one but still Moonshot one is decent enough so if you're on a budget you can go for the Moonshot one if you feel like you can spend 45,000 Korean won which is like 43 US dollars definitely invest in Lyricos I just couldn't choose between these two. Even though I was trying so many different cushion products, I still managed to just show some love in my liquid foundation category. I just really really enjoyed wearing this. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. I saw heaps of American YouTubers also raving about it and going crazy about it and a lot of people also ranked this as one of their holy grail foundation. It's not that status yet to me but it's still like really really good. It's super lightweight, it's super natural looking it just blends in your skin like a skincare product. It just almost feels like a serum. So it just blends seamlessly and just coats your skin beautifully. It really leaves a very gorgeous semi-matte finish with decent medium to high coverage and I just love the color as well. I'm using light neutral. This also just blurs out the imperfection in your pores and everything and just makes you look like you have a very very good like already good skin. Next product I have here is very very summer 
more appropriate. I think a lot of oily skin users already use this and know this. This is the Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder in the loose powder type. This is basically a translucent like micro HD loose powder that you can just um, dust it everywhere where you feel like it's a little bit more oily. I personally use this as to set my entire makeup and put everything in place. I don't necessarily think this keeps like your oil out of your face but it does feel very like fresh whenever you apply this because it just naturally mattifies your skin like instantly. I prefer the mineral powder type instead of pressed powder which is the compact version of this and I use both but this is still like more natural looking and it doesn't really disrupt all of the foundation that you already have. The pressed powder type does kind of apply a little bit more patchier and and it's not as natural as this one so I highly recommend the loose powder type again I love this as to mattify my entire face and keep everything in place but at the same time it doesn't really do anything to prolong the foundation wear so yeah next we have a contouring palette it is the sin stealer behind the scene I have been loving it as soon as I received this from sin and she just did an awesome job in making this palette I adore this and I can never go back to any other contouring shades or contouring palettes that I have because this is probably the best contouring palette that I've ever came across it's my holy grail I already see a dent and I'm very very close to hitting the pan so why I love this so much is that it doesn't contain any any redness in it it's more like an ashy cool toned brown. I just naturally have some rednesses here and there throughout my entire skin and it just makes it even worse when I use a contouring shade that has a little bit of redness inside. It kind of brings out the redness even more but this managed to sculpt the face, contour your face and just creates the natural shadow and it's very finely milled as well so it just blends into your face without just being blotchy or patchy on your skin so yeah. I have been just loving this. Okay, we have another summary product. It is the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer and this is probably one of the most famous popular bronzer out there. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer which means it's not shimmery at all. It smells it's like a chocolate. It's very, very, very appetizing. I'm like really hungry right now. It's very, very flattering on your cheeks. It just gives you that really perfect sun kiss bronzy tanned look i have it on my cheeks today i often use this in replacement as a bronze i mean blush and a lot of people seem to like that look so i've been wearing this in a couple of videos and a lot of you guys have been asking what i was wearing for my blush and it was this product little goes a long way with its product it's super pigmented so you got to be a little bit careful in terms of controlling the amount it's a beautiful gorgeous like really perfect bronzer i really love it i don't have any eyeshadow favorites months but I love this pencil liner from Etude House. It's just blah, 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 blah. It is their Play 101 pencil in number 79 and it's this shimmery, orangey, corally, peachy, um, very very sparkly glittery shade and I really love putting this like on my inner corners underneath my eyes and also I just love using this um, layering on top of a coral satiny eyeshadow and it just makes your eyes like really really pop and awake and more k-pop b i guess it stays put quite a long time so i feel like it doesn't really smudge that easily and yeah i've been just really really enjoying using this so highly recommend this i never really considered myself as a big fan of etude house before within this year etude house has been releasing some amazing products so I can't really deny anymore. I really love Etude House products and they have this new Dear My Blooming Lipstock range and I just love this because not only it just gives you a very pigmented mattified like matte mattified matte lipstick look but also they did an amazing job on creating the most flattering brown shade a lot of korean brands they tend to only like release a lot of cherry berry mauve um, rose pinks and corals but not a lot of beige or brown shades i did i was finally stepped up their game and they released three different um brown based products i just adore every shades of browns here the very first one is number be 108 
from Beiji and it's more like a corally nude beige color. The next one is BE109 from Beiji. This is what I'm wearing today on my lips and this is the Lily May Max color. She came to Korea to have like a photo shoot with him. She was like rocking this color and it looks so gorgeous and I just really really adore this color. I feel like it would be really flattering on a little bit more tanned skin as well so yeah. And the last beige or brown shade we have is BE110 기다리고 싶은 베이지. It's more like a brick brown red so every shades are very very flattering. These brown shades are probably the least favorites among a lot of Korean girls but wouldn't you just try it and just trust in me you will love brown shades and these are really really and last but not least my favorite is very very random it's not a physical product it is actually doing yoga <laughs> And I never expected myself to actually fall in yoga because I'm more like a strength training, like more active workout, Pilates kind of girl. I always thought yoga is more like very relaxing and chilling and you know like easing all of your muscles and stretching and I'm not flexible at all so I kind of was reluctant to try yoga. I tried yoga, vinyasa yoga especially, um, for the very first time while I was in Singapore. My friend dragged me there and I went to home yoga and took a one day class oh my god it just blew my mind I didn't know how hard you could be and it just completely kicked my ass I was like probably one of the most funniest girl in the entire class everyone was so professional at doing moves and I still suck at it but I still try to you know go and learn more moves it makes you incorporate all of the core muscles and you need to be strong in the core muscles it's really really challenging it just blew my mind but at the same time it's super rewarding because as more as you go as more as you do you kind of see yourself being able to do things that you weren't able to do so I think that's a very accomplishing you know feeling it's not really about the yoga itself I feel like it's more like trying new things and getting out of your daily routine it just keeps your endorphin running and going and that's like the best feeling and since we're already in our second half of the year and I'm sure a lot of your new year's resolution kind of faded a little bit kind of been too comfortable with your own routine at least I was and I think trying something different in my life especially something more active kind of was something that I really needed in my current life so I really appreciate that so I highly recommend you guys to step out your routine and try something new this month and let me know how that goes and that is all I have for you guys today let me know your June favorites in the comments below also if you're new to my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button down below the red button down below and I will see you guys very very soon with another video